What's good guys, this is Relic, just going to do a quick tutorial on how to tune your 808s. I get a lot of questions about how I do my 808s and I figured I should just show you guys. Uh, so I already have an 808 selected, uh, it doesn't really matter which 808 it is. But uh, the first thing I do is I go over to this little envelope setting and I, I lower the attack all the way so my, I like my 808s to hit right away put the hold all the way up and then I lower the decay and I kinda make this box um, now what this does is whenever you go to the piano roll and you click your 808s in and you make them a certain length uh, it'll cause them to end at that length your 808s will no longer bleed over uh, into each other so that's pretty useful if you especially if you want that clean 808 uh, anyway, so to tune the 808 after you make your box, click on your 808, drag it over into Edison. Edison's a very useful program. Uh, I have yet to use it in FL12. So hold on, let me find the button I'm looking for. Uh, yes, yeah, so click on this little marker thing and then go down to detect pitch regions. Alright, so this 808 is automatically tuned to an A. So now that you know it's tuned to an A, go back to this little window, uh, to your envelope, um, and then find an A on the keyboard, which is right here, and then what you're going to do, and now make sure you do this, you have to right click. Uh, if you left click, it'll, it'll mess the whole thing up. Don't ask me why, but it will. Uh, so right click and now that it is on an A you can actually pitch your 808s and put it in the key that your melody is in and it will sound in key. Um, that's it. That's how I do my 808s. There's nothing other else special to it. Um, if this helped I have a link in the description um, of a drum kit that is all my own personal drums. Um, so if you need drums check that out. 